So we're going to look at the details of, uh, of reverb on the human voice, but let me just give you a generic reverb, big, big, big secret. The secret uh, to making your mixes sound huge, and if you've been through the, the experimentation process of working on trying to get your mix to sound big and you f hit upon the idea of putting a large reverb on a lot of the tracks and then you ended up with mix soup where your whole track just sounded like a washed out mess and therefore it didn't sound big at all. Uh, don't worry, everybody's been there. So here's the secret. Do what you did but to only one instrument at a time. Basically, a number of your tracks should be dry. Maybe a few of your tracks should have a medium reverb and one, max two instruments at a time, meaning in the verse, one or two instruments, and then maybe two different instruments in the chorus, should have that long reverb. Don't do it with all the tracks, and that will give you a big sounding track, because what makes your track sound big is depth. Some of the instruments are here, some of the instruments are there, and some are way back there. That's that depth that gives you a big sounding track. So here we have the one reverb that we're using on this uh, voice. You've noticed so far that we're using all standard Digi plugins. They're doing the job. Um, here we're using a plate. We, we're choosing the large algorithm, but it's not set super long. It's only set at 1.7 uh, seconds, which is a, a medium length to, uh, reverb time. Um, the pre-delay is set at 42 milliseconds. That gives us a little bit of space in between when the singer sings and when the reverb starts and we're rolling off some of the top end and uh, we're using the diffusion parameter at about 87% to create a, 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 and we don't want the reverb to have too clear a sound. We kind of have a smoother sounding reverb that doesn't sound as bright as the original sound. Um, that's what the diffusion is doing. So let's take a listen to the voice without the reverb and then with it. Here it is without. I've got the reverb sent off. That girl is all And now with reverb. That girl is all I'm thinking about. Spend my time trying to think, try to figure her out. I got it. So it's adding space, but if you remember from when you heard the finished version before, it doesn't quite have the dimensionality. So in our next video, we'll see how we added that using delay. And so that's how we use reverb on the voice to bring it out of the track and make it stand out and be separate from uh, the music. If you'd like to see some more videos, you can go to sae.edu.